Hi everyone! So today, I'll be sharing you ways on how I stay productive in doing my tasks or in studying. But before that, I'll be sharing with you my inspiration for this video and the sponsor, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can learn a bunch of new skills by watching different classes online. There are a lot of topics under it. We have fine arts, then productivity, and etc. I myself watch a class by Kevin Siskar. There I gain some tips on how to stay productive with the use of my technological aids. So if you are interested on having your own Skillshare account, I'll be leaving the links down in the description box below. And Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership for the first 500 people who will click on that link below. So my first tip is to have your own planner. It could be either digital or physical, um, whatever is your choice. But I myself prefer a physical planner. And I don't think I've mentioned how I set this up yet, but you've seen this planner on a lot of my videos already. As you can see, it already has these boxes um, printed on each page. And there I placed all of the tasks that I need to do for that day. But I have this like note down below. There I put um, the things that I need to focus on for that week. For example, these. And then these like to-do lists that is for the entire week. So that I wouldn't be distracted on a lot of things. And that I'd have a clear um, view on what I need to finish this week so if you don't have a planner um, before I made use of of course my digital aids and I downloaded this app it's called my homework and as you can see this is where I put my tasks obviously and what i really like about this one is that you can add your like assignment or paper deadline for example paper deadline and then you can choose the class which class is it under for example it's for sipar then you can put the due date for example sunday and how how important that task is you said set it as high priority and then there you go it will be all listed down here if you don't like how this looks you can change it into by class by priority or by type i prefer it by class and then once you're done with that you can just slide it to your right and you just slide it to your left if you want to delete it so another pro tip is to have everything at your glance so I have this like mini notepad and this is what I always use. Um, as you can see, on Tina lang siya. Like I only have very few pages left. But I believe this was given to me by one of my pen pals. And it has this like huge urgent lettering on top. And this is where I put like tasks that I need to do. So for example, I have these tasks that I need to do for today. And what I usually do is that I paste this on my table directly like over here using a washi tape so that i could clearly see it even though i have a planner already i prefer to like still have these mini notes on my desk because sometimes i'm super lazy to like flip this open i know that's not good but i sometimes feel that way so most of the time when i study or do something i don't like my phone with me i usually like just throw this out on the other side of my room and i always put this in the do not disturb mode so that there won't be notifications popping up and it really distracts me my ipad is mainly for studying and for art so whenever i study i sometimes put up this app it's called tide and this is what I use for um, staying focused. I don't want to purchase apps such as Forest since they're really expensive. <laughs> so I try my best to uh, um, use free apps. And this is one of my favorite study app. 
So another tip is to have everything in your reach. Like things should be easily accessible for you. For example, all of your pens and highlighters should be easily accessible whenever you are studying. And some other writing utensils. And I even have my own printer here beside me since whenever you like stand up your seat and go somewhere else sometimes it really distracts you like you go to different place aside from aside from the place where you should be going and that hinders you from being productive so yes and i think this is the most important one out of all the tips that i gave you and it's to have a good lighting <laughs> Yeah, because um, I know most of us study during the night since we have classes most of the time in the morning. And I am a night person whenever it comes to studying. It's either my usually my study times are very early in the morning, like around 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. or 8 p.m. onwards, like 8, 7 p.m. onwards. So I should always have my trusty lamp with me because if you don't have a good lamp and you study at night it will literally strain your eyes and it makes you sleepy it makes your eyes watery and red and itchy and painful and it makes you just want to go to sleep so what's the point of studying at night if you're gonna go to sleep lang rin naman. so that is it for this productivity video i know it's really short but i hope that um, it helps you guys since I receive this question a lot like I think on most of my videos and even on Twitter and Instagram I get messages and replies regarding how to stay productive and I hope that this helped you and if you guys are interested go click my link down on the description box below for a free Skillshare premium account. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!